Hey Leo, how's it going? It's Ashley from Serendipity Tarot. This is your general love reading. We're going to see what is happening right now for you guys in love. It's general, right? Take what resonates, leave the rest. If you want a personal love reading, all the details are in the description box. All right, check me out. I also offer readings on my Etsy shop along with my tarot decks, oracle decks, spiritual jewelry. Your bonus, how does your person feel for October is on Vimeo. Check it out if you are interested, okay? So Leo, let's jump right in. Let's see what messages that pop out for you. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you know when I upload these readings, okay? All right, Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, Leo, we have the two swords. We have the magician in reverse. And we have the king of swords in reverse. Some of you guys deal with an air sign or Gemini in particular. There's a very difficult decision you're having to make in the current energy, Leo. You got your hands tied. You're not sure which what to do, which way to go. Um, there's a particular situation that's in you're in conflict about, you're in your head about. And it's telling me that you may have felt as if um, you can't manifest with this person, you may have felt you can't trust this person. There could be a lot of miscommunication as well. We have Mercury retrograde here. Um, all the swords are coming out in reverse. Well, especially the knights and the kings, okay? But there's definitely some kind of miscommunication or verbal argument between you and this person. And I'm feeling like right now you're having to make a head of a heart decision. You're having to make a decision on how to move forward and in what direction, okay? So let's see. I also feel like there's something that may not be clear to you because you got your hands tied, your eyes are blindfolded, right? Give me the recent past. In the recent past, we do have the full Aries energy. We have the Nine of Swords and the Queen of Cups. I feel like in the past, Leo, you feel foolish for loving someone the way you did. I feel like this is definitely someone that you've been in your head about. Um, a lot of anxiety, sleepless nights, you're worried about the situation here. I feel like you gave all your love to this person. It could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Someone gave all their love, their loyalty, Okay, and I'm getting that there was an uh, an energy of a new beginning for something to happen, for something to move forward. But I also feel like someone felt maybe I'm not seeing everything. Maybe I'm just jumping into something recklessly. I feel like there's someone who also in your life, Leo, who you may have felt they were living that reckless life. Okay, I'm getting that they were maybe living life on the edge or they weren't really thinking about the repercussions of some of their actions. They just kind of did things impulsively. I feel like this is someone, Leo, that... You really want to move forward, but there's some risk here. There is some trust issues here, okay? So let me see. Um, some of you guys, you just don't trust this person in love. You don't trust this person with your heart, with the Queen of Cups. Leo, we also have the Two of Pentacles in reverse. We have the Four of Cups, and we have the King of Wands in reverse. So this is your energy, Leo. That's you appearing in your reading. There's something that you're definitely holding back on. I do see that there's a situation where you're going back and forth, trying to juggle. This could be someone who juggled you, but there's definitely a decision or something you're having to um, drop in the process of making a decision. There's something you're having to let go, maybe make a sacrifice. I, did, I do see there's something here that you feel like you may have missed an opportunity with someone. Maybe you feel like they let you down. Maybe there was some kind of sadness or disappointment here with the four cups, okay? There's definitely someone in your life where maybe Maybe you got pushed away, you got rejected, you felt like you weren't good enough, but there's definitely a lot of sadness and disappointment as to how something happened or the fact that something did not happen, okay? So Leo, I feel like this is someone that you may have taken your, back your energy from, you may have decided to not pursue them at this current time, or there's just no action being taken on your part. Let's see what's in the foundation, what you're not aware of, what you may not be seeing. We have the temperance in reverse. We have the three of wands. We have the five of pentacles. And why this is all happening is the seven of pentacles. So, Leo, uh, we do have someone here who definitely looks at you as an investment. They see you as someone. There's there's growth here. There's something that could be very stable, very grounded. There's security. I think that this is someone who definitely looks at you um, as someone who wants in their life in the future. But I'm getting that they just don't know how. They don't have maybe the answers to everything but they do see a lot of stability here now i do feel this is someone who's been waiting for you we have the three of wands they've been waiting to uh maybe get out of the cold with you the five of pentacles they are feeling you know quite distant from you maybe they feel like you are ignoring them they feel as if you are 
you're not interested there's the energy of you leaving them abandoning them or neglecting them right now not talking to them right with the king of swords in reverse and i don't think they're happy about it i mean the temperance in reverse they're, they're really anxious i'm getting they're worried they're really unstable okay they may be also conflicted could be a sagittarius here so let's see what we can find out as far as the outcome uh, we have the Seven of Swords coming out. As far as the outcome, we have the Three of Pentacles and we have the Nine of Pentacles. Leo, I feel like there's something here where the Seven of Swords is not the greatest energy. Um, it could be the energy of strategizing, but it also could be someone here, Leo, in your life that you just don't trust. For the simple matter that, you know, maybe they have a bad track record, right? This is someone that may have hurt you before, may have done something where you can't trust them entirely. They hid something from you. They did something behind your back. Um, I feel like this is someone, Leo, that you may end up just getting on the same page with. But I don't see it really moving forward just yet, especially if this is a romantic connection. I feel like there could be a lot of work to get to this place of the Three of Pentacles, where you guys are finally seeing eye to eye. You're able to understand each other, maybe even work as a team together. But I see that right now, Leo, your focus is yourself, the Nine of Pentacles. Your, your focus is you, investing in you spiritually emotionally mentally being sound being grounded maybe working on your finances recovering from something here okay so let's jump right in let's get some more messages for you guys leo this is your reading like your comment and subscribe bonus reading is up on vimeo how does this person feel for october all right let's see Why is the Two of Swords here? In a current energy, there is a decision, a head of a heart decision. It could be very difficult to make this decision, right? Um, two of Swords is clarified by the Empress, the Hierophant in reverse, and the Six of Swords in reverse. Leo, there's definitely something here where you're having to make a decision if this is someone that you still care about, someone that you you actually want to do something about it, right? You care about them. You actually want to take time to nurture the connection. You want growth with this person. I, I see that there's some issues regarding commitment. Maybe this person couldn't give you the commitment that you needed or you weren't getting commitment from them entirely. They were maybe non-committal. There's something about you guys moving moving away from a situation here, okay? Maybe in the past where they've proven themselves not to commit, okay? But I think that this is someone, that, again, there are some trust issues. The magician card came out in the verse. That could be why you're not talking to this person. But I feel like there's a decision with the empress if this is something you still want to take, uh, you know, you want to nurture. You still want to take care um, and, and give to this connection. Do you still want to build it? Do you still uh, love this person enough to want to invest and build it, okay? So let's see what this, um, I'm going to find out what the magician, is about could be a Gemini here. Why is the magician card here? The magician is clarified by the eight of pentacles and reverse of the seven of cups. Some of you guys, you feel like this person may have had a lot of other options in love. This is someone that maybe you're becoming more clear about that was not focused on you. They were not making your priority. They may have not been made, making your priority because there were other people, other um, interests romantically that they had. And so you felt like this person deceived you. Some of you guys with the magician verse, you felt this person was a trickster and they didn't really say what they really wanted. They were not very clear with their intentions. And you may have felt like they had ulterior motives motives okay now give me the recent past in the recent past we do have the fool give me clarity on the fool aries energy we have the eight of wands we have the three of wands and we have the world in verse so i do feel in a recent past someone has realized that they don't want to move on from this connection i feel like someone here who's definitely wanting to take action maybe you could have got some quick communication from this person could have came in very very quickly right mercury retrograde i'm getting that something could have happened online could have been a text message of some sort what is telling me leo is that there's definitely someone who's very passionate about you about the connection and they do want movement they do want some kind of change three of wands are thinking about the future with you and the world inverse they're being now called to revisit a situation that did not work Okay, and it's telling me they may be wanting to do something about it, wanting to take action, wanting to change the direction and, and where this is going. Okay, so why is the Nine of Swords here? There's a lot of anxiety. Okay, the Nine of Swords is clarified by the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, the Nine of Swords in reverse, and the Ten of Wands in reverse. There's a lot of anxiety because this situation just got too difficult. 
It got too difficult, got too tough. And there's a situation here where you had to move away from it. It got too burdensome. There was an ending of some sort. And it's tell me, Leo, you know, there's someone here that you just could not build something with. There was no stability. There was no security. There may have been a poor investment in this person, right? Someone may have not been invested or focused. And so there's a lot of anxiety about maybe revisiting the situation with this person, Leo, because you may have decided to close out this cycle in the past. Give me the clarity on the two pentacles. Some of you guys, you may have been, okay, juggling. I'm getting, you may have felt rejected by someone here with the four cups and they were juggling and you decided to remove yourself from that third party situation. You felt this person didn't appreciate you. Yeah, some of you guys, yeah, you, you felt that. I'm getting some of you guys, you definitely were juggled. This is someone who may have not been, again, very clear about what they wanted, right? They could have been doing something behind the scenes, a magician or verse. They could have been doing things the way they wanted to do it. And they didn't care about how it may have looked or how you may have felt. And Leo, I'm getting the sense that you decided to pull back. Someone decided, I'm not going to invest in this King of Wands in verse. You decided you no longer wanted to be a part of that kind of situation. I also feel like there's something here where you decided, I don't want to offer anything. I don't want to invest any more time, energy, and effort into a situation like this. So I think that a lot of you guys, you may have chose a different path for yourself that was more victorious. Or uh, maybe um, someone here that can give you more attention. You may have decided, you know what, I can't be victorious with this person. I can't achieve what I want. We don't have the same mindset, maybe the goal in mind, right? What I want and what this person wants are two different things. And I feel like this was something very difficult for you. And that's why we had the two swords, the two pentacles. You're going back and forth trying to decipher if this is what I want. But I do think that, you know, you may have decided to pull back because we do have a missed opportunity here with the four cups. There was some kind of missed opportunity. Yeah, because someone decided I'm no longer going to entertain this this person. <laughs> I wouldn't say this fool, okay, because someone was very foolish. Um, I feel like you're no longer entertaining, no longer... Um, putting in your energy, your time into this situation. It is very difficult because some of you guys are dealing with a soulmate, the lover's card, but there's a decision you're having to make. Two swords, the lovers, right? You have to make a decision about how you want to move forward. How do you see moving forward? How do you see this person viewing you? Do you want them to just view you as another option, you know, another number amongst the others? So I feel like this is someone who didn't expect that you for you to pull back because I think this is someone who really did want a future, but I don't think they were taking the actions toward getting to that place. And so I do think this is someone you may have decided to leave out in a cold, um, but they're waiting for you. Why is the three wands here? They're waiting for something. They're waiting for something good to come out of this connection. Again, <laughs> they're waiting for you. I mean, look at this energy, Leo. That's you. They're waiting because you pulled back. These are ending of some sort between a divine connection and they want some kind of movement wheel. Okay. The wheel of fortune. They want some kind of change. They want some kind of progression. They're not happy is what it's telling me. I don't think this is someone that would admit it or tell you that they're very much affected more than, you know, the temperance and verse and they're losing it. And so they're waiting for you to maybe make up your mind to revisit the situation. Leo, they're waiting for you to move forward with them. They're waiting for you to revisit the situation. They're waiting for some kind of positive change to come out of this situation connection. Why is the five of pentacles here? They're feeling left out in the cold because I'm getting some of you guys, you know, it could have been like a, uh, I'm getting a very like a passionate type of connection, sex only type of connection. Some of you guys are missing the passion, the, the entertainment, the fun that you um, offered them, Leo. I'm getting you a lot of fun. You guys linked up and it was just a lot of good time, a lot of great chemistry. Some of you guys, they just straight up miss the sex. I'm gonna be honest with you, okay? But the seven of wands, I do feel like this is someone that you having to stand your guards with um, because you want investment. You want something real right the seven of pentacles why is this here yeah i feel like a lot of you guys there's something about this person not being honest and you may have felt they were unjust they may have done things that were just for their own good you felt that you were not being treated fairly you felt that this person was uh overlooking you right you didn't feel this person was really giving you the um giving you reciprocity you didn't feel like this person was really putting you first Okay, and so there's a situation here where your person is now, they got time to think about it, right? They got now time to reflect on the connection, what they did, how they um, came towards you, what they offered, okay? Because I'm getting that you're not talking to this person right now. Again, Mercury retrograde because we got the king and the knight of swords in reverse. So a lot of miscommunication for sure. Um, be careful, okay, how you say things because I'm getting it definitely. Uh, there could have been a lot of harsh communication here, okay, between you and this person right now especially. 
But I do see an opportunity where you guys are at least going to get on the same page. But I also see that, Leo, you're just going to work on yourself right now. Um, give me clarity here coming into the mere moment for your pentacles. I feel like this is something here, Leo, where you're having to make a decision. Um, you're making a decision to do what's best for you. What's going to make you happy, right? And perhaps feeding this situation or moving toward them at this time isn't going to make you happy. I do feel this is someone you're going to be getting out of conflict with, though. The five of wands in verse, you're going to just put an end to all the drama, the, the fighting, the competition. I do see you guys moving away from that. Um, but I also feel that, Leo, you're questioning the stability of this connection. The king of pentacles, maybe you feel like this person cannot offer you that security that you're looking for or they have a lot of things they have to work on first before they can really give in an equal manner and i get the sense that you just want to make yourself happy so some of you guys you will get an opportunity to get back on the same page but i just think that right now it would be um probably not the best move the seven of swords if you guys don't trust them probably not the best move to move forward and expect anything else why is the nine of pentacles here i think you guys need time there's something about not rushing the process, doing what best for you, right? The Nine of Pentacles, standing on your two feet, investing in your money, your, your stability, your security, your family. I get the sense that there is a situation here where, Leo, you, you don't want to rush it, right? There's something about you being patient, doing things that's in harmony with yourself, doing things that you feel good, right? It sits with your soul, right? It sits good with your soul. And I feel there's something, Leo, where you're having to go within. There's something you have to use your intuition, connect with yourself, maybe find the answers on how to maneuver this connection on how how to best approach it um, because I think that there's something here regarding this person that still makes you feel uneasy. Okay, it could be a Sagittarius, it could be a Pisces. So that is what I have for you guys. Also, it could be a Libra. Um, that's what I have. If this resonates for you, Leo, like, share, comment, subscribe. Your bonus reading is up on Vimeo. How does this person feel? If you're interested at all, do check it out, Leo. And um, that's what I have for you guys. I'll see you all soon. All right, bye.